Welcome everyone. I am Emerald Green and I am the chick who reads. I'll be bringing you intuitive messages directly from spirit. I do want to let you know that these readings, they are for entertainment purposes, so it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does, I do ask if you would hit that like button. And if you feel called, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Gypsy, look, you're going to get put out the room if you don't. Go sit down. Sorry, y'all. Gypsy is in the room. I should have known when she brought her little shit starting behind in here. Get, get. Now she over here sniffing my crystals. Go lay down. And then she be flopping with the attitude. I don't, <laughs> she spoiled. That's a problem. I be yelling, but that's my baby. Yeah, you my baby. Y'all, y'all have to excuse me. Um, I keep in mind with Tarot, energy is fluid. Somebody could be interrupting a whole bunch of stuff. I, Gypsy has just been. Gypsy and that's what she's been doing. She's been doing what she do. Um, tarot is uh, energy. Energy is fluid. So I could be saying he and it could be a she. Um, I also mentioned zodiacs as well as time. Now that's all energy. So uh, put it as it may resonate for you. Flip it around. Adjust it. But don't force it to fit. Definitely have discernment when watching any readings um any tarot readings um especially on youtube or any type of social media it would be collective energy unless you get a personal that's you know one-on-one -on -one for your energy so definitely keep that in mind i do want to thank all of my new subscribers anyone who collect collects anyone who um provides any type of energy whether you like the video you share the video you we have space falling out whether you, um, whatever, you know, just for watching. Anywho, um, thank you. My channel is taking off and I am greatly appreciative. Even though I'm going through different things, it's definitely growth. And I am all about growth and gratitude. Um, I also just want to say, y'all, make sure y'all are waking up counting your blessings. There's always somebody who's in a worse or even... Uh, less fortunate predicament so just definitely uh, make sure you count your blessings and um, express your gratitude to the most high because he definitely it allows us to choose whether we keep on pushing or we give up you know that is our choice so let's get on holy spirit holy angel show me what i need to see and say for the collective What's the current energy? We got space here. So somebody could be wanting space, giving space. Somebody could feel like they're in a blank space. They can't, it's, it's they can't, they're drawing a blank. They, they don't know what to think, to say, to do. There's just space here. Somebody could be a boss and they have a lot of space or there's open space. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting nothing. The cards are shuffling. They could be pain in their life right now. They could be crying. They could be in a lonely space, an empty space. Empty is what I'm getting. I'm really getting empty. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, is there anything else? Spirit says space is what it is. Okay, so maybe <laughs> those two got peace at the bottom of the deck. Peace came out earlier when I did my pre shuffle with this deck. And it's crazy because two cards came out when I shuffled. Um, I got peace, I got anger, and then I got mystery. Now I have, uh, and at the bottom of the deck, it was, damn, I want to say energy, it was a red card, no, I don't remember the card at the bottom of confidence confidence so let's get into it for the collective what is the energy we got space oh my bad y'all we got consciousness and caution space consciousness and caution 
So somebody could be being cautioned. They're in this empty space. They're thinking a lot or they're, I don't know, I'm getting, I don't know why I wanted to say they're subconscious. They're very aware of something. They're fine-tuned. It's like somebody is a parent. Maybe they have a lot of space to think. Um, there's a hazard or something, some, like a warning, caution, there's a, some type of warning. Peace, we have peace, reflection, and pain. So somebody could be at peace now after some type of painful moment. They've reflected on something. There could have been something that they were being cautioned on and they, they were able to recognize some type of signs or synchronicities. Maybe there was something in their space that showed them something. Maybe they... I don't know. I'm getting blank energy, blank space. There's an empty space. We got workplace affair. Damn. Fake news, DNA, pregnancy. Somebody could have been cautioned on something within a workplace or maybe doing something within a job or flirting on the job or mixing business with pleasure. Um... There was a scare, is what I'm getting, but it was fake news. Goddamn. Most I forgive me for saying that. I don't even like saying that word. Somebody could say GD a lot. That's not my word. Somebody was living in the moment, having reckless sex. There was something in the workplace that was going on, and it caused... A major scare. This could be you. This could be somebody that you're thinking of who's in your energy. Um, somebody you're around. Put it as it may resonate. What else, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Can I get maybe two more? Ooh, we got off and on, hot and cold, detached energy. Somebody was ghosted. Damn. Yeah, we're just going to take these two. But we got fresh start. Somebody ghosted somebody for a fresh start. We got moving. Buying a house, selling a house, new city or state, career change, left a toxic relationship. Somebody got a fresh start and then there's something about memories. So, yeah, I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I'm. we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep memories at the bottom of the deck. We got peace of mind or some type of peace offering. We got self-love memories and losing sleep, worried, replaying events, thinking about you. So you could, oh, then we got secrets. So there could have been a, a pregnancy scare, maybe not even a whole pregnancy. There was something that was like a scare and you, you could have said or somebody could have said they may have be pregnant from a workplace affair or some type of something that took place in the workplace. Or maybe somebody you work around, work with, something. There was some type of... Oopsie wally boom shakalaka oopsie bang bang going on and somebody ghosted someone got a fresh start somebody's thinking about it and um somebody is reflecting on self-love and somebody is losing sleep they're worried so there's two different energies already um that i see here Somebody's detached with a fresh start. Somebody's worried. And there's this fake news going on. Um, heavily wrapped around the validity of who the person. See, it could be either uh, the DNA is not someone's or someone is not pregnant. But it's definitely some lies, some secrecies, some deceptions. Uh, secrets is what I'm getting overall Holy Spirit somebody possibly needs to make a choice on something what else Holy Spirit peace okay so it flew over with the peace somebody needs to take time rest and relax there's something somebody's going to get some type of peace of mind you could be a Gemini an Aries or a excuse me why do I keep saying Aries every time I try to say Aquarius you could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra, or an Aries. But it doesn't may resonate for you. Yeah, because we got Strength Warrior behind it. I'm getting Aries energy. Show me what else I need to see and say. Oh, we got Toxic Behaviors, Control, Manipulation, Obsession. Can I get two more, please, Holy Spirit? Just... 
two more for the collective. Thank you. Oh, we got lessons learned, teacher. Definitely life is the best teacher. And then, oh, we got spiritual awakening, intuition. Somebody knew they should have followed their gut. They felt it. They didn't trust it. Or maybe they did trust it. And whatever scare this was, they learned their damn lesson. They was like, you know what? I, I made it. Nigga, we made it. I don't even like saying they were ninja. We made it. They graduated. Look. Time for a new direction. Changes are ahead. Somebody got this compass in their hand. And they following this shit. This is giving me strong um, chariot energy. But I don't know what this card is. I didn't see it, but I, I see it now. Okay, so... It's dream big. Spiritual awakening did come out in the reverse. And dream big came out in the reverse. Somebody. There was something trying to like. This person who was taking this time out to relax. Who could have been in this detached energy. Who was getting this fresh start. Somebody could have tried to stop their spiritual awakening. Or tried to block their intuition. They didn't want somebody to have these big dreams. They didn't want them to um, be detached or moving away with this fresh start and this ghosted energy. Somebody is changing and somebody didn't want someone to change. Somebody could have tried to trap somebody and block them. Somebody could be in this empty space and they're thinking there's this consciousness of the, the choices that they're making, the actions that they're taking. They're starting to see those caution signs loud and clearly because that that yellow that yep red or yellow whichever it may be that stands out somebody could have been in the space where they didn't know what to do or um what to choose or what to say or anything like that i'm gonna keep that big dream big over here and i'm gonna keep this at the bottom of the deck i'm gonna put some to roll on it to see what this is holy spirit holy angels what we got going on here what 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 what, 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 what is this? <laughs> we got the three of wands and the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of action, uh, physical movement. Somebody could be trying new things. Because I saw that page of wands as well. Somebody's planning something. Somebody's about to, like, somebody could see some actions or some ships coming in. I got it, I got it, we got it, we got it. Three of wands comes back. Somebody's been really, really working on themselves. Somebody is working on their money. Somebody is working on their ascensions. Somebody is working on their overall, like, health is wealth is what I'm hearing. Their health and their wealth. And it's giving me a strong um, feeling that it's something to do with peace of mind. When you have a peace of mind, whether it's money, your time, you know, anything. Gypsy, keep on. Distractions, whatever it is, there's this peace of mind energy. Somebody is like, it's giving me the energy of cutting the cords on any type of toxic behaviors, any type of control tactics or any type of manipulation that somebody tries to do to puppetry someone. Like any type of obsessions. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Somebody is coming to God. Hey, I give you a glow. Somebody's learning to cut things that don't serve them off. There's like somebody has a peace of mind. They're moving on. It's like whatever don't serve them, they're cutting off and they're leaving behind. Whether they're physically moving, spiritually moving, or mentally moving. This person is changed like it's. Whatever job this was, fuck that job. I'm getting another one. <laughs> Wherever they live, fuck that house. I'm getting another one. If it's a new city, a, a state that they ain't never moved out of, they don't want it. Fuck that state. Wherever it is, they hometown. Look, I'm out. This person is cutting cords of toxicity. It's like this person has a higher fine-tuned consciousness. And they're being very cautious of anything that does not serve them. It's like this... I don't know... Somebody could be watching or looking for someone. I don't know. Yeah, show me what I need to see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It, 
somebody could be picking with somebody like sitting waiting on them to do something like start working on something so they can like try to undo what they're doing because gypsy is back here really watching my little rubber shoes like, these are my my rain boots like if you chew a hole in my rain boot i'm gonna want to beat you with that rain boot i'm not gonna beat her with it because she a, a freaking you can't even <laughs> Can't even throw cotton or marshmallows at her because she, when she knows she's in trouble, this is the thing she know what she be doing. There's somebody that know what they be doing. They're intentionally trying to catch someone up in something, or they're trying to wait until you're working on something. You're being productive. You're being, you're doing something. This person tries to come in. It's like you're you getting this peace of mind that can't nobody tamper or. Like you're detached from anything, even if this person was off and on or hot and cold. Um, I don't know, y'all put it how it may resonate for you. It's different for everyone because this is a collective, and I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff that's coming in, and I'm realizing I need to slow slow myself down. It's a lot coming in. We have the seven of swords flipping over first. There was a lie. Somebody planted something. There was a lie. Somebody tried to distract you. And that could be this pregnancy, this workplace affair. It's already mine. Something's already yours. Something you manifested. I don't know if you're finally learning to put up some type of guards or protect something. Listen. Get, you know what? She got to go. Out. It's time for you to go. Yep. No more distractions. You're toxic. Get your toxic behind out of here. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Y'all see how how I keep Gypsy at the room. She do too much. But anyhow, somebody could be doing. You know what? That song by um, you doing too much. You be doing too much. This is the person. They be doing too damn much. Um, the seven of swords energy always trying to get the upper hand with these five of wands somebody could be a mothering figure um, or this could be the empress that somebody's always trying to do too much to you because they think you're back turned like you don't see what's going on put it as it may resonate now this memories this self love is standing out so I'm getting somebody is in this empress energy with this self love somebody is thinking about you because um, you give them a feeling that they've never felt before. It's been coming. It's becoming something po impossible to ignore. And I can't take it. I was wondering maybe would I make you my baby? So we do the unthinkable. Somebody, if you ask me, I'm red. Somebody has been trying to stop this emperor from coming towards this empress fake pregnancy somebody they work with somebody they know from work this person could work for them this is exactly how it should be when it's meant to be somebody is trying to throw something look at this and it's a tower there's communication coming in oh my goodness there's definitely something unexpected that took place after somebody came to this crossroads somebody had a choice to make there was something in the universe. The universe was like, you're not making a choice. You're not doing something. Typically, when the tower comes in, this is the universe. This is divine intervention. This is God stepping in saying, look, you didn't, time is up. Tick, 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 boom. It's, it's Look, if you're not going to make the choice, it's still a, a mission, a purpose that has to be played out. Life goes on. Time is not going to stop for no one. Even if you you have no time with anyone, it's still time is up. Time is still going. Um, but for whatever this choice was, time was up. And some type of um, forward movement, communication, action. This is going this is flowing this is energy consistently moving even when a, a kaboom has happened something exploded and is going to cause this um forward movement somebody could have tried to set up this emperor they're looking back um this emperor looks like he's looking over here at this queen of wands energy this lover's energy somebody knew something intuitively this emperor is what i'm getting i was wondering would it look 
We got the five of swords. This emperor is like, look, I'm cutting something off. They don't care. Like I had just kick gypsy ass out the room. They don't care. Look, now you're doing too much. You keep on trying to distract me. I'm trying to do something and you all you keep on coming up with different stuff. It's time for me to take a new direction. Change has got to be made. Somebody it's like I can't resist you. There's some type of block, silence, and ending to a friendship or some type of fun or support that you are offering to someone and it's causing a tremendous magnetism there's this chemistry there was a mixing and a mixture like um blue green and orange are both i guess warm and hot colors maybe there was there was there was two cool people or two chilling people right here. These cool colors right here. And then there was this warm attraction that came in, in between. I don't know. There was something that came in. This is giving me three-party energy. Like somebody was magnetized like opposites attract type energy. Um, mm, mm, somebody glass. It, I don't know. Look at this. Look. This one over here is not as full as these two. These two are like even over here. They're looking eye to eye with this chemistry too. And that gives me the same energy with that lover's card that came up. Typically with the lovers, the two of cups, it's this eye to eye. They're side by side. It's like we're on the same page type energy. Somebody is cutting something off. They're, it's like they're clearing space. They're making space. It was like there was some warnings. Maybe there was a, a pregnancy scare. Or somebody lied and said they were pregnant and they were, I mean, they were pregnant, but they could have said that this emperor was the father. And somebody is cutting off this, these two of swords are on the, on the uh, ground. It's like there was a cutting off. Somebody threw their swords down and somebody was, you know, operating in this betrayal energy. Somebody said, I'm not playing no more. I ain't playing your games. There's no way to win. You got too many options. And look, you got too much going on. This uh, A DNA test could have came back after this person, you know. Playing games with me had, had me hooked on your line. So this person, yeah, they was lied to. There was this DN fake news. It was fake. All facts. Okay, somebody hit and had them running right back. Okay, an option. But it's like somebody may have been confused about who the star was. So we have the high priestess back here. This high priestess was sent back knowing the truth of everything still pouring in. This person got confused. They got distracted. There was a lot of smoke, a lot of um, illusions is what I'm getting. Because this woman right here, she got this witch hat on too. Somebody could have been blowing smoke, creating the, uh, oh, and then I can see the Empress back here. There is somebody. What else, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What else do I need to see and say? There are that three of swords. I said the three of swords. It was a betrayal. Betrayal. Backstabbing. This is, um... That pain energy, the way this is running down, just like how the pain back here is some type of pain. Somebody's reflecting on it and now they're getting this peace of mind. There was this lie that took place, a betrayal. This person was all in their head thinking about it. And then there were some type of memories that came in. Somebody realized that you had a lot of self-love. That you had a lot of self-love. You could have ghosted this person. Became detached because they were off and on. Hot and cold. This person could have been detached. And you was like, you know what? I can't do this shit. Ain't no dreams here. Let me get a fresh start. Or this person. I'm, I don't know, y'all. Put it as my resonate for you. I'm getting a masculine energy coming off of this. This masculine is cutting off the, you know, they're done with the manipulation, the mind games, the fucking, like, had them hooked on your line type energy. They learned a lesson from this betrayal. This person was in their head. They were called they, like I'm getting like this person did not know which way to go. Typically, the emperor has control over their life. They are um, receptive. Um, a complete balanced and grounded masculine energy. 
be able to guide and provide leadership. They money right. They know how to talk to people. They're in, their emotions are balanced. They're not emotional at all. What else, Holy Spirit? Holy Angels. Okay. Page of Cups. Somebody is about to offer apology. They're going to come in with a lot of things to say. <clears throat> they they have a target to obtain and they don't want to miss some type of truth that was held back from them or um, some type of truth they've been holding back from you. They want to come and profess this. They could be watching you um, trying to figure out how to deliver this truth, this information. They're trying to manifest. It's like they're trying to manifest a way to start up a conversation. The Page of Swords is uh, very inquisitive, wants to know. They're trying to find, figure out. If somebody's trying to manifest a way to say something. This female, she's holding back something to say, that Ace of Truth, that uh, Sword of Truth, that Ace of Swords energy. But you could be guarded, protected, definitely in King of Swords. <laughs> if it don't make does, it don't make sense. And if, if you ain't making sense to me, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk. But I got a lot of shit to do. I got businesses to run, people to tell what to do. Um, what else, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Why is this ghosting and all this other stuff over here? Ooh. Got the, the energy is different. Somebody... Somebody could be losing sleep. Yep, they are losing sleep because I said losing sleep here. They worry. They're replaying events. Thinking about you because of these secrets that were... It's like this person, they knew they should have listened to themselves. There's this despair energy. This... Uh, <clears throat> grief, loss... This person could be crying over spilled milk because this right here, they feel like could have fucked up what was fated for them. They're, they they caused something to not happen. Something about time because we got the wheel here, this compass here, and then we have the Torah, the will of law. Fate. Somebody could feel like this block their fate or stop something from manifesting from happening they're sad about everything that's transpired cause them losses this person could be deep in grief right now because they feel as though their dreams won't come true because they realize they ghosted they were off and on trying to um possibly be an honest person but it, it, it's like this energy here caused them to be in a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. But this person is like they're getting some type of peace, like they're healing, they're reflecting. I don't know why, but my ear is like it's a pulsating type uh, ring. Like it went out and came back, went out and came back. That was so weird. Um Somebody wants, they, they know somebody wants them to fail. It's like something, some energy wants this person to fail. And that's why they're in this fresh star energy. They dream big and there's some type of energy of not wanting them to dream, pill, dream, dream big. Um, there's this energy of a distraction that's around. Ooh, look at that devil. This is a, a toxic and negative attachment. Ooh, this person is taking everything. This person, ooh, God, dog. We got the devil, the six of pentacles in the reverse, and the king of swords coming out. Look at this. How these cards stand out. Y'all see the nine of wands. And the magician back here. And that's the queen of swords. Two of swords. Knight of wands. 
there was some type of sexual act that took place <laughs> of course but something is is not spirit why why does this keep coming out why why is this over here like what's going on because we got this king of swords over here somebody is um operating in complete mental they're not allowing their heart to get in any of this it's like somebody is sucking them dry for their money or they could be blackmailing somebody could be being blackmailed there's all type of blockages over here with this like i'm getting like somebody money started going down the drain or they lost a lot of money in this energy over here I be in a loop. She be in a group. <clears throat> How can I lose one? We don't lose one. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can we close out this reading? Uh, what else do I need to know? What do I need to see and say for the collective? Um, this person who is going through, we got the four. 44 could resonate. Four of Cups, Four of Wands. Somebody is not content in this home, this union. They're working on a way to get out of it. They, <clears throat> What's the outcome? Because this person is thinking they're over here stuck or feeling stuck. This could be past or present. But this person is realizing, yep, that Knight of Wands energy. What card was over here? Workplace affair. Take time and rest and relax. Spiritual awakening, lesson learned. How are they cutting this down, this tower? And it came out in the reverse. This person is, uh, oh, there's some type of judgment coming up. This person is holding on to these burdens, but they're about to release it because it is affecting their emotional or mental health is what I'm getting. Yeah, we got the everything is fine. This person has... Uh, Suffered an ultimate betrayal. This person could be completely heartbroken. They pay all the bills. They're the golden child. For real. Some type of evidence with this page of pentacles came in. It's like there's a DNA test that comes in. This person. Um, the way this tower came out in the reverse. There could have been a lot of things on hold or being blocked. Um, due to some. I don't know. I'm getting like a lie. Somebody who could have been. Why is this tower here? Why is the tower in the reverse? Why is this tower in the reverse? You got the five of pentacles. Why is the tower in the reverse? Somebody was trying to stop this ending. They, they knew they were going to have loss. We got the king of cups in the reverse. Why is the tower in the reverse? This person could have resulted to drinking. A lot of loss, a lot of poverty, money. Ooh, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody was... I be trying not to make it seem about spell work. But when it come out, it just come out that way. Like this person... With that devil being here, the magician kept on showing itself. This queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody was definitely being a hoe. Could have been a lot of drinking in this situation. A lot of toxicities. A lot of money loss. Somebody's getting some type of courage to face the truth. They were invested in, in the wrong thing. And it's like they're wishing, hoping, and praying. They could be praying to God that things change up or they get a brand new start, a brand new opportunity. Yep. They want to take action. They want to be bold about this brand new opportunity as well. Yep. Got the Queen of Swords, but somebody got their sword up. Yep, they're not allowing it. Um, damn, and the King of Pentacles? That is a lot of... There could be a lot of energies in the loop of this, this blockage of this tower. Somebody could have tried to do a lot to stop it, but there's divine intervention coming anyways. There's no way to stop what God has for someone. And I'm getting that... Somebody, it was like they tried to stop. What was that verse I said about? They all tried to stop or block something like that. Um, but it's like there's a lot of, could be drinking, drugs, sex, reckless sex. A lot of stuff that should not be going on. Somebody's been trying to block, you know. Um, I say I don't try to bring spell work into it, but 
whenever there's like modern day stuff happening, which would be considered spell work, you know, you don't have to be over a cauldron to do spell work. It's just that strong intent, that strong willpower wishing it up. Yeah. Um, but I'm getting like somebody is a witch. A hoe. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is just not look, she very like argumentative, like to fight. Um, and it doesn't have to be a sheet. This is whatever energy, it's just feminine energy, but the king of cups is manipulative play on people's emotions this could be all one person in this energy with this tower in the reverse but i'm getting like somebody wanted to hold on to somebody they kept burdens on somebody they were holding them back stopping them from progressing going forward somebody is thinking about memories with somebody and how they have self-love and they're like you know what i want to be like you when i grow up even though they are older than you or younger than you or whatever it may be they want to be like you when they grow up you gave them some type of guide some type of guidance of some sort it's like and I don't even want to say you gave them some type of guidance there's some type of lesson that's been given somebody you have no idea somebody had learned this lesson and somebody don't have no idea how learned this lesson is this right here Show somebody someone's true colors and this person is like, whoa, I got to change. Somebody could have wanted to run it back twice, but they like, I want to change directions. With this chemistry here, some, this is why I said you could have changed their life. That, okay, because at first I was like, wait a minute, because it ain't nobody else here. But I forgot there was some type of chemistry. There was some type of... Somebody realized that they can do it too. They can get out of this situation. There was a, a trap to keep them from moving forward towards something or someone. But it may resonate for you. But there was a lot of... I, I'm su surprised the addictions card didn't come out. But somebody's reflecting and they want peace. They was like, I should have learned. I should have known. There's some type of band-aid being ripped off. And somebody is... I don't know. They're cutting the cords on this toxicity is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can I get a card to close out this reading, please? And thank you for the collective. This one matched that one. That one. Money. Okay. Money. <laughs> Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. We got a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Something could be taking place in the new moon. Um... Taurus energy, Libra energy. Something, nothing will come of this situation is here. Avoid a course moon at the bottom of the deck. So something is not going to, you know, is nothing's going to come from it. But the crystal oracle I have here is Malachite. Okay. Spirit wanted to say these, these options, this confusion in the home or something. There's judgment. Judgment is here. Um, prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So, there's definitely about to be some type of that divine intervention. Somebody was trying to stop is coming. There's there's some change coming. Somebody's cutting the cords. There, there's a fresh start. There's a peace of mind. There's um good things coming. Um prosperity does lie ahead. Prosperity twice and a new romantic cycle. So I don't know who this is, who's reading this is, but I do want to thank you for your energy. Thank you all for your time and stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, as always, please remember, being wanted feeds the ego. However, being valued feeds the soul. So if you are out and about in the community or whatnot, I do ask if you would please bless some stranger with a smile. You just never know who may feel invisible. But until the next time, make it a great day, my beautiful people.